I'm connecting, waiting for everybody to connect. All right, thank you very much. I think at this junction, if you could hear me clearly now, please just give a thumb up. Let me be sure you can hear me clearly as we progress. So I think everybody should have been able to deal with the audio problems and we could be on the same page now. So very quickly, thank you very much. So very quickly, as we proceed in this session, my name is Delia Akisulola, and um, this is my picture on the screen. Uh, I joined this organization eight years ago. So it means eight years in this system. I can say I've become a legend in this system. So whatever I'm going to tell you today, please don't see it as la crème la peau. Understand that I know what I'm saying, and I'm talking from experience in the organization. Now, before I joined this organization eight years back, I used to be a graduate like everybody. I had my first degree 2007, I had my master's 2011. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this for you guys to understand that uh, if it's about going to school, if it's about being educated, I went to school. Uh, but somebody said something, he said, the problem in life that makes most people who are educated to be poor and most people who are lessly educated to be more successful than those who are educated is not far-fetched. It's because education is not a problem, but the educated people are the problem. Now, what makes educated people the problem? The reason is because educated people behave so smart, they behave too smart, and um, they are not always willing to learn. An educationist says, you learn from the day you were born to the day you die. The day you stop learning is the day you start dying. It means life is governed by principles, and these principles tend to change from one generation to another. There was a time when it was slave trading, where people were selling human beings to make money. That was the business of that time. There was a time when it was agriculture, when our forefathers used to have farmlands and they were super rich and successful because they have numerous farmlands. That was what was happening in those times. There was a time when it was education. Those days, we have story from our fathers. If you are privileged to go to schools like the UNN of those days, like the Premier University of those days, the moment you are graduating from school, companies will come and be begging you to work for them. Now, in this age and time, how many companies not begging you to work for them? So the simple truth is that time has changed. And you know one funny thing? If you don't acknowledge the change in your era, you'll be operating like a slave in that area. And that's why today, I will beseech everybody that this workshop will make you understand the change in this generation. It will make you understand the change in this century. It will make you understand the change in this era. And you must be willing and ready to embrace change. Because if you don't embrace change, then it means that person is a living corpse. It's a living corpse. So before I joined this organization, I went to school, and how did I know that my certificate would not help me? I looked for a job. And um, the best job I got, even with my master's degree, was a job of 45,000 Naira with Scow Foods, the company that produced tropical juice. And as at the time I got the offer of 45,000 Naira, I was already married. So the question is, if you are there, you're a lady and you're listening to me. If I happen to be your husband and I was earning 45,000 Naira, please add the way I've cooked. As a young woman, you would like to look good. You would like to do Brazilian hair. You would like to do Bosnia coins. You would like to do Alicia Keys, Victoria Beckham. So the question is, how would we have coped? As at that junction, I'd always had a, a good dreams that I want to be a good father. I want to be a good husband. But it was evidently clear that what my certificate would give me 
could not have afforded me the luxury of achieving my dreams. And that was why I had no option but to keep searching for what I could do to achieve my dreams. Until I met this organization, that was precisely December 2011, and everything was being explained. And the first thing, first thing that caught my fancy was when the organization made me understand, I'm not coming in to work with my certificate. I'm not coming in to work with my credentials. I'm coming in to work with my potentials. And that's the same thing I'm telling everybody today, that we don't really acknowledge which school you went to. We don't really acknowledge which certificate you carry. Because if it is about certificate, you can copy and paste certificate. What we acknowledge in this organization is your potentials. What is that thing you can do that you can do differently? This is a world of business. Our organization, CF Lead, means Center for Leadership, Entrepreneurship, and Development Initiative. Combining leadership and entrepreneurship means we use leadership to build business. Jay Pogetti said you don't build business. You build people, and the people build the business. What does it mean? It means the process of building people is a process called leadership. The process of building people is a process called leadership. And that's why here in this organization, we are looking for people who carries the same value we carry as a group in the organization. Now, eventually I started with the organization and eight years after today, eight years after today, it's a different story entirely. Eight years after today, I can acknowledge say, I've not seen any of my mates anywhere who can boldly stand up and tell me that eight years on the job, they held close to what I had in this organization today. At the same time, eight years in this organization today, I've traveled far and wide for trainings, for conferences. I've met with people all around the world. The Bible says a man diligent in his business shall stand before kings and not men. men. Not a man diligent on a job. So even a job is not acknowledged, even in the Bible. You have to have a business, something you trade with your hand. And that is exactly what we are here to talk about. So here you are coming in to work with us in the organization as business partners. You're coming in to work with us in the organization as leadership partners. The picture I'm showing you here was a picture that was snapped in South Africa when we went to Beshwood Hotel and O.R. Tambo Conference Center for trainings and conference in South Africa sometimes back. And this is an example of what we're going to be talking about today. So very quickly, let's go to the session proper. And I'm going to start by showing you this slide to start with. I know for some of us, you may be seeing this slide for the first time. That's why I said there's a lot of things you need to learn here today. This slide depicts different, four different categories of people in our economy. And this slide is called a cash flow quadrant. This slide says that no matter where you are, no matter what you do to make money in your pocket, you fall into one of these four categories. One, you're either an employee, that is you're employed by somebody. Or you're self-employed, or you own, that means you own your business. Or you're a big business owner. Who is a big business owner? The B. Big business owners are people who do not just own a business, but they have a system to work with more people. And investors are people who send money on their own. Now, let me explain it more clearly in such a way that you understand. An employee is somebody who is employed at a young age into an organization. Why did I say at a young age? Because most especially when you're already getting to 40s, you're getting to 50s, most organizations are not interested in you any longer because they assume the most useful part of your life has been used when you were 20s, when you are 30s. So most organizations prefer to take you in when you are very, very young. Why? Because you are just like a bamboo pole, freshly caught in the bush, green, strong, and very well, full of life. And what do they use the bamboo to do? They use it to support a building. When the building is strong and solidified, they remove the bamboo, and most of the time, they trash it, or yalakara use it for firewood. So what does it mean? It means an employee is taken into the company at a tender age, when it's sharp, it's smart, it's, his brain is functioning well, he could deliver so much for the organization, and he runs every day like this man in a spiral. What does the spiral mean? The spiral is the organization. So it means every day of your life, you keep running to develop the organization. And do you know one thing? The wheel will keep rolling. And as the keep, wheel keep rolling, the organization keeps improving. But what happens to you that you are running? More or less, your life remains the same. 
Why? Because you are depending on an active income. What is an active income? An active income is something you earn today that you are sure you will earn again tomorrow. Most of the time it's called salary and it doesn't really increase like that. It's fixed and it seldom increases. Let me use that word. Whenever it's going to increase, it increases over a long period of time. And it's crazy. And somebody defined it as a salary is a bribe they give you to forget your dream. Because guys, you, will, you agree with me that when you are working in an organization, you don't pursue your own dream. You are pursuing the organization's dream. Everything you do is in pursuit of the organization goals and development. So the question is, if you are to work with the organization for 30 years, it means for 30 years of your life, you trade your dream for the organization's dream. Of course, you are given a salary. Now, look at an active income. If you could see this arrow very well, you could see that the arrow is going down. Why is the arrow going down? The arrow is going down because active income are always known to devalue. Remember, salary most of the time is fixed. It's seldom increased. So let me give you a very practical statistic here. If you have your calculator very close, we're going to do a very simple calculation. About six, seven years ago, Bullock Jonathan was the president of Nigeria. And as at that time when he was the president of Nigeria, dollar exchange to a naira was about 160 naira to a dollar. You agree with me? If you agree with me, you just need to thumb up. Whenever you say anything and you agree, just give me a thumb up, and the thumb up will indicate that you agree with what I said. So just give me a thumb up if you agree with what I said. Now, back to what I was saying. Gulo Jonathan was the president of Nigeria, and Gulo Jonathan be the president of Nigeria at that time. A dollar exchange rate was 160 naira. So imagine, guys, if you were paid a salary of 100,000 naira as at that time when exchange rate was 160 naira. So divide 100,000 naira by 160. What do you have? It means the equivalent, the worth of your salary in US dollars, which is a global standard, was $625. Great. But now, six, seven years after, Baba Buhari is the president of Nigeria now. Do you know how much a dollar is now? A dollar is 420 naira. So if you are still handing the same 100,000 naira, let's divide it by 420 naira. It means the equivalent of your salary now at the same 100,000 naira is now $238. Look at the difference. It means over a period of six, seven years, your salary depreciates from $625 to $238. Guys, tell me the truth. Are you appreciating or you are depreciating? Are you moving forward or you are moving backward? That is exactly what a job is. And don't let us talk about the hard work you put to it just because you are looking for security. You see this thing called job security has really enslaved a lot of people, you know? And it makes people you get used to certain names like civil servant, public servant. Whichever servant you are, a servant is a servant. I know it's a servant, a servant is a slave. I'm sorry this morning, I'm going to be a bit blunt with the truth because sometimes we need to tell ourselves the truth if we really want to forge our head in life. Now, not just that. Most of the time, a lot of people get tired there and they say they don't want to work again. Exactly like this man who is on this gray suit, this faded suit. He's been faded, meaning that he's tired. Look at his looking bent. Maybe you are earning 100,000 and your responsibility is not beyond the 100,000. You need an increment. You don't go to your boss and say, I don't want to work again. My salary needs to be increased. They put a whiner at your back when they see they are useful at that work. And what is that whiner meant for? They use it to motivate you. They increase your salary from 100,000 to 120,000. And as a result of that, you are still tied down to that job and they still continue to use your life. Now, eventually, many people get tired of this and one day, one day out of courage, they resign. But most of the time, if you don't resign, you might be retrenched. And if you are not retrenched, one day you will retire. So it means as an employee, you can't escape three hours. One of it will definitely catch up with you. Three hours. Now look at it critically. When most people have the courage to resign, what do they resign to do? Most of the time, a lot of people resign to go and start their own business. And you see some people, they start their own business. 
But for that business to start, they will go and borrow bank loan. They run on debt. Because at this junction, so you know, you were working for a company before. Somebody put money on that company. But now you want to do your own business. You have to put your own money. That is ownership. You know, every business is requires that you put something into it to gain ownership. Are we together, everybody? Now, as a result of this, you know, they work around the clock to be able to meet the demand of that new business. A lot of these people are professionals. Some are doctors, some are lawyers, some are accountants, and some are petty traders, shop owners. Now, as a result of working around the clock, they are stressed out. And they are stressed out, despite the fact that they work around the clock, they still have insufficient funds. And the crazy statistics here is that 95% of people in the population are found here and they share 5% wealth. If you agree with my statistics, remember to thumb up. That is the way we communicate. You know, everybody's on mood so that we will reduce background noise and we'll be able to flow well. But we still need to communicate. Now, meaning that a lot of us who are seated here now, listening to me, you've been on this left side of the quadrant over time. It's either you've been an employee or you've been a self-employed over time. And that is why it always looks as if life is not palatable. Life is not giving you the best that you need. Now, let's go to the right side of the quadrant. On the right side of the quadrant, you could see their lettering is green. Green means life. And if you could see on the left side, their left lettering is red. Red means danger. Now, if you look at this, the first person here is a business owner, the man in blue safari. You can see the man is carrying a briefcase loaded with money. This man is not even looking good. He's not looking handsome. Look at his mouth. Monkey, no fine. But mama like her. What does it mean? It means in the world of business, nobody is interested in your facial appearance. What everybody is interested in in the world of business is your inner appearance. What do you have inside that can make a lot of ways for you? Remember, the Bible says, the gift of a man findeth a place for him. That is exactly what the world of business is all about. These people own a system, system, and people work for them. But on the contrary, in our organization, we own a system and people work with us. There's a difference between working with and working for. Traditionally, business owners own a system and they enslave people to work for them. But here, we own a system that creates people like us. We own a system that creates people like, like us. What does it mean? Remember what I said earlier, that a success without a successor is a successful failure. If you look at great people all around the world who are greatly successful, it's because they produce their type. They produce their type. And that is exactly what happens here in the world of business owner. Now, what is a system? What exactly is the difference between a system and a shop? You know, the man who is a self-employed owns a business. And we're still talking about big business owner here, a business owner here. So what really makes a difference? The difference here is that when you own a system, a lot of people can be connected to your system. Now, the more people on your system, the bigger the system. Now, let me explain it further. If you look at your television at home, if you look at your television at home, Mr. Ikele Fidel, behind you is a television. Now, if you look at that television, there's a very important component in that television. That television has a lot of components. And some of these components, when they are faulty, you can replace them. The television is still the same. Thank you for showing us the television. The capacitor can be faulty. You can change the capacitor. Any other thing can be faulty, you can change it. Even the screen can be faulty, you can change the screen. But there's something in that system that every of these components is connected to. It is called the motherboard. If the motherboard of that television gets faulty, what do you do? Replacing the motherboard is like buying a new television. Agree? So what does it mean? It means the motherboard is the system. So most of the time, a system is unchangeable. But you can change the components that is connected to that system. That's why you discover that an employee on a system is like a component. An employee can be hired and fired, and the system will still not change. Why? Because that employee is like a component. But I cannot be fired because nobody hired me. I'm a system eight years in this organization. And that's the same opportunity the organization is extending to every one of you listening to me now. The ability to come into this organization and not just be a non-entity. 
the ability to come into this organization to become a system. And that is why if anybody here is not thinking big, then I tell you, your values cannot coincide with your value, with our value. If you are here, you are thinking small. You have never thought of it in life that you can ever work with people. You have, you have never thought of it in life that you can own a system where up to 10 people, 20 people, 100 people work with you, guys. Then it means you are not meant to work with us in our organization. So back to what I was saying. When these people who are business owners make money, they make money building passive income. What is passive income? Passive income is a type of income that grows as your age grows. Guys, your responsibility sometimes is tied to your age. If you are a teenager, maybe your responsibility or the money problem you can have is maybe you want to go to school. And most of the time, your parents take care of it. The only thing you take care of is maybe you want to buy a recharge card. By the moment you are growing into adulthood, your responsibility increases. The moment you are growing older, into 50s, into 40s, into 60s, your responsibility grows older. And that's why I used to tell people that there are some mistakes we should not make at our age. The Bible says the glory of a youth is in their strength. If you waste away your strength, you can't get it back. Because biologically, energy leaves you. You know? Biologically, there is, a co there is an, a coenzyme in the body. It's called CoQ10. CoQ10 is an energy-given enzyme that works with the mitochondria. And you know, it was funny some days ago when I got to learn in one of our trainings that this enzyme that gives energy, it, de it depreciates from the age of 20. So it means as you grow older, this energy depreciates. This coenzyme depreciates. The body does not produce it again. That's why you discover that as we grow older in life, we get tired. So guys, if you don't use the time of your strength when you have a dark hair to walk, then it means you're going to use your gray hair to regret the work you did not do. What do I mean? If you say you have a monetary problem now, let's say you have a problem of 50,000, then you go ahead to go and get a job of 100,000 to solve your problem. You're a big boy. You never marry, you're earning 100,000. You think you're living large. Guys, go and get married and start giving back to children, you will know that Jesus Christ does not have tribal mark. So what now happens when your responsibility grows to 150,000? At that junction, you begin to look for a job of 200,000. Okay, good. People will advise you to go for more qualification so that you can become more professional, it's good. But what happens when your responsibility increases to 300,000? You'll be looking for a job of 500,000. What will now happen when your responsibility increases to 600,000? By that time, you'll be looking for a job of 700,000. So what will you now do when your responsibility runs into millions? Or you think you are never not going to need millions in life? Guys, miracle happens. But in the financial world, miracle hardly happens. Because you are not going to pick money on the floor. You're going to work out for money. And it is what you do today, if it is done on the right system, that we allow that money to accumulate and come. And that is exactly what passive income is all about. Imagine if you have a system where you work with 10 people. Your income grows in the proportion of 10 people. Now imagine if that system accommodates more than 10, 50 to 100 people. It means your income will increase in the proportion of the number of people working with you. That's why the Bible says one will chase 1,000 and two will chase 2,000. I don't know if you are communicating at all. And when these people make money here, they bring the money down to become investors. Now, they send money on errands. They have no debt. They have plenty of money. And the crazy statistics here is, these people work out for freedom. Financial freedom is their main value. And they're always very few. 5% people in the population here, and they share 95% wealth in the population. Imagine. Few, few people sharing much money. And here on the left side, employees and self-employed, plenty of people sharing little money. See, in every problem, there's always a lesson to learn. In this period of coronavirus, have you guys really learned anything? Let me tell you what I've learned. Coronavirus has really opened the nation of everybody. At this junction now, you will know. 
If coronavirus has created a lockdown of about one month, and people are already complaining, Robert Kiyosaki said there's a difference between riches and wealth. Riches can be measured of the amount of money you have in your hand. But wealth can be measured by the quality of how the money gets to your hand. Who is a wealthy person? A wealthy person is somebody who can continue to spend money when it stops working. A wealthy person, you are as wealthy as the number of days you can spend money when you stop working. So imagine, guys, you work on a daily basis as a self-employed to earn daily money, and the day you don't work, you don't eat. Then, guy, you are not wealthy. You are not wealthy. And this played out last month in March when coronavirus came up in Nigeria. If you could remember, a lot of rich people came together and they said, let us help the government. And they began to donate money. Dangote, one billion. Or dollar one billion. Alakija, one billion. Elumelu, billion. Adeleke, billion. Guys, tell me the truth. How many employees donated money? How many self-employed donated money? Rather than donating, employees are self-employed. You see them on social media. They are lamenting. They are shouting. Government is not sharing the money. <laughs> Guys, are you part of those waiting for government to share money? Then I'm sorry to say you're a big fool. Because if at this age and time you are still expecting government to take care of you, then you are deceiving yourself. Have you ever seen any government that take care of its citizens? Have you ever seen any government that take care of its citizens? If you think I'm lying, go and ask your parents. They will tell you that from the days of Shagari, people have always been complaining of bad government. So what does it mean? It means you are the government of yourself. Forget about national economy. Talk about your personal economy. If you don't take care of your own economy, nobody will take care of you. Now, what is that thing that really makes these people on this right side of the quadrant different? I'll show you on the next slide. On this next slide, if you can see very well with me, there's a word that is common to these four slides, and that word is leverage. For an employee, they say they don't have leverage, no leverage. For a self-employed, they say no leverage. For a business owner, they say there is leverage. For an investor, there is leverage. So what exactly is that thing these people leverage on? An investor leverage on money. The question is, do you have the money? And that's why I don't even think about it. Before you can become an investor, you need to build a business. Because the business becomes the asset that generates the money that you use to invest in the longer run. So the question is, what is that thing that a business owner leverage on? Look at this symbol here, if you can see this. Who are these things? What are these things you see? People. People. A business owner believes that the more people I work with, the more successful I become. I'll say it again. A business owner understands that the more people he works with, the more successful he becomes. Why? I will break it down. An average human being like you work for an average of eight hours a day, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. or 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., eight hours. So what does it mean? It means when you stand alone as an employee, you are only limited to the productivity of eight hours, the only ones you can do. But guys, imagine if you work with nine more people plus yourself making 10, and everybody contributes eight, eight hours every day. What does it mean? It means at the end of the day, you are leveraging on a result of 80 hours effort. Eight times 10 is 80 now. 80 hours effort. Now, everybody look at the productivity now. The productivity of 80 hours, compare it to the productivity of eight hours, which one would be better? Of course, 80 hours would be better. So guys, tell me the truth. What if the number of people working with you are now 100? Eight times 100 will give you 800 hours. Okay, what if you are like Dan Gote, who have hundreds of thousands of people working for you? Eight hours multiplied by 100,000. That is 800,000 hours. Guys, on your own. You can't work more than it. Let's even assume you work around the clock. You can't work more than 24 hours. And if you work 24 hours, if you do it for two days, you will break down. 
So what does it mean? Can you now understand the reason why the Bible says, by strength shall no man prevail? It means if you are banking on your strength and you think you're a foreman, you can do so many things, you will get tired. That's why the Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes that when two people work together, they get a good reward for their labor. I repeat, when two people work together, they get a good reward for their labor. But woe unto him that standeth alone. Another translation for woe is cause, shame, reproach unto him that standeth alone. And if you look at this quadrant very well, who are the people standing alone? The employees and the self-employed. It is evidently clear. So it means when you are an employee, you are self-employed, you are standing alone, the process you are working with is already a cost process from the Bible. And let's look further. When two people work together, two people working together, go back to your elementary business studies, just as one. When two people work together, what do you call that? It is called partnership. It is called what? Partnership. So can you now see that it is more rewarding to be in partnership than to work alone? At this junction, I don't think I'm talking to everybody here. I'm only talking to a few people who are matured in mind. The world of business is not for babies. And guys, you will agree with me that you can be old, but you can still be a baby. A 40-year-old man can be an adult baby, while an 18-year-old person can be very mature. Maturity does not come with age. It comes with life experience. And that is why for somebody who is not matured yet, whatever I'm saying now will look like nonsense. And for people who are very matured, they could read meaning to what I'm saying, and it could make a lot of sense to so what is leverage? Leverage is a support structure. Leverage is a system that allows you to work little and get more. Leverage is a system you build today that takes care of your old age. Leverage is a system you build today that takes care of your tomorrow. If you cannot literally build this, life becomes difficult in the later age. Now, why do you even need to build leverage? You need to build leverage because the statistic is crazy. You need to build leverage because the statistics is crazy. The statistics is crazy. Things are not funny. Life is not smiling. Things are not funny. Life is not smiling. I saw a news yesterday that Ari Care has put 90% of their workforce on compulsory leave. I'm trying to see if I can get that news. If I can get it very quickly, I would like to share it with you. Arike has put their staffs on compulsory leave, as in, if you hear compo, compulsory, compo, compulsory, 90% on compulsory leave without pay, as in without pay. And the remaining 90%, the remaining 10%, they have slashed their salary by 80%. They have slashed their salary by 80%. Okay, this is exactly what I want to show you. This is exactly what I want to show you. Guys, I'm going to show you now. They have slashed their salary by 80%. So the question at this junction is, if your salary is being slashed by 80%, then how much are you really going on with? And that's exactly the statistics I'm showing you here. 47 million jobs will be lost in next quarter. 47 million jobs will be lost in next quarter. So it means it's not going to be child's play. It's not child's play. Another crazy thing here, back to what I wanted to show you here on my, from my screen. Let me see if I can load it as quick as I could do. I will show it to you. Another crazy statistics is that even self-employed shops are closing up. Self-employed shops are doing what? They are closing up. You know, by restaurant association, it is, it is seen that 3% of all restaurants today are already permanently closed. 3% of all restaurants today are permanently closed, as in permanently. When something is permanently, and 70% of them have laid off their workforce already. 70% have laid off their workforce already. So the question at this junction, guys, is if you don't build leverage for yourself, what will happen to you if your company wakes up tomorrow and they say your service is no longer needed? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? 
Now, how do you now use leverage? Now that you understand that leverage is working with people. Now, what do you now work with people to do? How do you use leverage to now build passive income for yourself? That's exactly where we are going to. A, a genuine business, a genuine business must have a product or a service to render. So what does it mean? It means when you work with people, there must be a quality product and service that is essential that you offer people. Essential products and services include foods, nutrition, telecommunications these days. And aside that, it includes healthcare, pharmaceutical industry. Those are the industries that offer essential goods today. All of you that have been working before, you are locked up at home. You can't even go out from your house. But shall I tell you the truth? A lot of people are still going out. People that have essential service to render. I am one of them. When I go out today, I go out with my ID card. Police does not stop me because I, I'm, I'm part of the industries that provide essential services. Our organization is into food and nutrition. And that is exactly where you are coming in. There's a high demand now, these days of coronavirus, because everybody wants to be healthy. Everybody, I want to develop their well-being. And because of this, we need more ants on field to be able to team up and work to service the available clientele. And that is where your service is needed. Another thing is any business you are going to build must be a business that allows you to grow and leverage as you work with other people. The business must also be able to give you added bonus. In the world of business, money is not called salary. Money is called bonus, or you call it commission, or you call it rebate, or you call it reward, or you call it wages. Salary is a language used for civil servants or public servants. Now, another thing is, as you make positive impact in the lives of people, your customers and other business partners that you work with, it must be a system that will always increase your pay. When you are on a job, no matter the number of new clients, no matter the number of people you work with, they don't increase your salary as a result of that. But a leverage system is rewarding. And the last important thing about leverage system is that it must be fun. It must be something you can enjoy, not as a job. It must be a career path. And it must be something you grow with passion. A career path. I told you I've been in this organization for eight years. So it means for eight years I've been in this organization, I've grown. I'm not the same person who joined the organization eight years ago. I am different from that same person now. So what does it mean? It means I've grown in the career path. And that is exactly what the organization is offering. Another thing is passion. Somebody define passion as something you do that even if you are not paid, you still continue to do it. Guys, if I should ask you the question now, what do you think that you do that even if you are not paid, you still continue to do? Don't crack your head. The simple thing is talking. Every human being is created to talk. Either you are paid to talk or you are not paid. Every human being talks every day. The day you don't talk, you are dead. Now, the question is, what do you talk? What do you say when you talk? A lot of people talk, they talk rubbish. A lot of people talk to tie, tear other people down. But here in this organization, you're going to be trained to talk and make sense. I've been talking to you for some minutes now. If I'm not making sense, you will not be listening to me. So what does it mean? It means we talk in this organization to make sense. Now, how do you talk to make sense? You will undergo trainings and development for you to know how to say the right thing at the right time and to the right people. And that is why as you come into the organization, before you can begin to work with us, you are going to go through a series of trainings. Now, as a result of lockdown, after this workshop, we're going to assess those who are going to be working with us immediately. Some are going to be selected to start working with us today from home. All you just need to do is to get your documentations together. How will you put your documentations together? We're going to say it at the end of this workshop. Now, the moment your documentations are intact and you meet all criteria, you begin to work with the organization immediately. But before you start working, the first thing you're going to go through is trainings. There are a series of trainings you're going to go through in the organization. Now, when you undergo these trainings, many of these trainings are going to run for like one week. And when you run through this training, the trainings are going to be done online. So irrespective of where you are connecting from all around the world, you continue to run your training everywhere you are. 
everywhere you are. Now, at the same time, when you run your trainings and you are developed, then you can begin to work with people. You can begin to work with your clients, your customers. You can begin to work with more people who are business partners. You can begin to build a team. You can begin to build a system. And you can begin to leverage efforts by working with other people. And this takes me to the slide of Robert Kiyosaki that said, if you're looking for money, change your focus from making money and put the focus on serving more people because serving more people makes the money come in. At this juncture, what exactly are you now supposed to be doing as you come into the organization? That is what you call the job description. And at this junction, I'll be handing you over to this young lady. Her name is Olamide Omofuyewa. This young lady is a crazy young lady who just joined the organization in about one year ago. But within one year, she has been a very great fast learner. She has become a team leader. She's working with a large number of people. This lady today has team members within Lagos, and she has team members at Ibadan, and she has team members in other places. This lady today is doing well for herself. I'm proud of what she has become in the organization. This lady today will tell you about her life story and how she joined the organization and what the organization has done for her properly. And she will also tell you the things you do as job description in the organization. And that's why at this junction, permit me to connect with her. Miss Olamide, are you there? Permit me to connect with this young lady as the session progresses. As the session progresses. Miss Olamide, are you there, please? I want to be sure she's there on board. Miss Olamide, are you there? Yes, right, sir. Very, yes, quickly, sir. very quickly, please, you can continue from where I stop. Okay, yes. sir. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, good morning, everybody. Thank you very much, sir, for giving me the opportunity to speak to so many people this morning. My name is Olamide Obafoyewa. I'm a graduate of accounting from Kwara State University. After accounting arts, I came, I came from the background where everybody has actually came out from. That's the background where our society advises us. We need to go to school, get a good grade, and get a good job. During my university days, my parents told me that if I really want to succeed in life, I must graduate with a very good grade. I can tell you 100 level to 400 level. I don't have a social life. I was actually reading and reading all through. I graduated with a, with a 2-1. I was the fourth in my department. After BS, my daddy still told me that if you really want to proceed as an accounting student, you need to go and get ICANN. Although I left ICANN at my professional levels, but I have to tell people this morning is there are two categories of people I'm going to be talking to. The first categories of people are people that have a positive mindset, while the second category of people are people that have negative mindset. If you're a kind of person that has positive mindset, it means you're a kind of person that is optimistic. Optimistic people are people that even when I miss problems, the only thing they keep thinking about is opportunities. Why people that have negative mindset is the fact that even I missed opportunity, the only thing they keep thinking about is what is the problem. And that's why if you're that kind of person that is negative, I'm sorry to tell you this morning, we are not, you are not to be here because we are not ready. We can't help you. Because the truth of the matter is we can't help somebody that is negative and we can only help people that are positive. The truth of the matter is coming down here, I had to listen to my dad. I went for my icon. I left ICANN at my professional level, but something told me something, that why can't I just go and learn a skill? As I'm talking to you, I'm a professional caterer, I'm a professional bead maker, I can make air very well, thinking when I get back to Lagos, let me just go and open a shop. But because I checked the cost of shop, the cost of me, the cost of capital to put goods into my shop, I had to advise myself. On a wonderful Monday morning, I got a wonderful text message, inviting me down into the organization. And I can tell you today that that text message changed a whole lot about my life. I can tell you today that I bless God for the person that sent me that eight naira text message that I got into the organization. Coming down into the organization this morning, they made me understand that we are part of the people that build business that has a system. What do I mean? We build our business that has a system through the principle of partnership. What do I mean by partnership? As a partner in the organization, partnership means two or more people coming in together to achieve a common vision, to achieve a common goal. My mentor said earlier, Mr. Oladele Akinsolola, he said something. 
He said, if you really want to go further in the Bible, that God said, one person can chase 1,000, two people will chase 10,000 because they have good reward for their labor. Why did God say two people will chase 2,000? Why? Because there is more you can do when you build a team. And that's why partnership means two or more people coming in together to achieve a common vision. It means there is a word team there. It means there is something you need to understand. As a new partner coming into the organization, you're coming in to build a team. It means teamwork means your dream work. It even makes the dream work. Because it means your, if you talk about SWOT analysis, my strength can be your weakness. My weakness can be your strength. But the moment we work together, we do what? We achieve a common vision. And that's why as a partner in the organization, you are not yet to run a charity show. As a partner in the organization, you earn income. Income is different from salary. Do you know why? Because when you get salary, your salary is fixed. In some organizations today, they, they increase your salary every four years. Some increase your salary every five years. But what you're getting is fixed. But income is never fixed. And that's why our income in the organization today is we, we have many streams of income. But I'm going to be explaining just three basic streams of income. Obon Kik said something. He said, if you really want to succeed in life, you can't depend on a source. It means the moment you depend on a source, the only thing you can get is frustration. The moment you depend on a source, it means the day that source, something is wrong with it, it means that source will dry up and you'll still go back to square zero. And that's why he said the, the only thing that can actually happen to you is when you have multiple streams of income. Imagine COVID-19 now. So many people now are already complaining and doing all sorts of things. But the truth of the matter is people that have multiple streams of income are not complaining. I'm going to go back there, but let me quickly explain the three streams of income. The first one I'm going to be talking about this morning is corporate presentation. What do I mean by corporate presentation? Corporate presentation means disseminating of information to organizations, to people, and you make money. There are two basic types of presentations in the organization. There is indoor and there is outdoor. Outdoor presentation is where you make stupid money, crazy money, and you get paid. What do I mean? Presentation dissemination. Presentation majorly is actually about information dissemination, rendering of products or services, and you get paid for what you do. We are not affected by COVID-19 because we're actually part of essential services provided, meaning what? We render services and we get paid. What do I mean by presentation? Presentation simply means identifying a problem, solving that problem and making money. Successful people around the world are people that solve problems, are people that solve problems and they make money. They are not people that complain. And that's why we in the organization, we don't complain. We disseminate our information in corporate presentation and we get paid. When I came into the organization, I can tell you that today, I, don't know, I didn't know how to talk. I was a low self-esteem person. I was eventually fixing my team. And the first thing I told my, the person training me was the fact that I don't know how to talk. And I can tell you that corporate presentation really enabled me to develop my confidence and able, and able me to face my fears. And that's the essence. Essence of corporate presentation is for you to be able to develop your confidence and for you to be able to face your fears. That fear is one of the greatest things that's killed so many people in the world today. That fear. And one thing I tell people that if you're afraid, you can't go far because you need to be able to face your fears. Another aspect whereby you make money in the organization, let me talk about my, my experience with corporate presentation. My first presentation was done in a first bank in Osho de Salle. And you know, at the end of that presentation, I wasn't the person that did it. Why? Because I went with my team that did it on my behalf. We did it together. And then at the end of the presentation, I was being paid 70,000 naira. I looked at it. I've not worked before. The highest pay I got was during my youth service, where I served at Wyekmina. And my total earnings was 60,000 for 30 days. And I looked at it. Imagine me coming for just in less than four hours, and I made 70,000. That was interesting. And I asked my leader, is this how they do it? And they asked me, yeah. and they answered, yes, this is how they do it. And I looked at it. Wow. It means I'm really going to be crazy about this thing, because it's really made me develop my confidence and enable me face my fear. And that was the beginning. I could remember there was one presentation I handled in license office. And that presentation, I didn't do it for myself. I did it with my, for one of my new team members fixed in my team. 
I you know at the end of the presentation, we made over 300,000 in two days. I looked at it, wow, this is crazy. And the person told me, Maoga, in fact, you have really done so much for me. And that is how presentation goes. So it means if you're here and you make 100,000, you make 200,000, you make 300,000 per month, I can tell you that we have made more than that in the presentation. But presentation doesn't have leverage. Do you know why? Because it is when you're there, you make money. When you are not there, you don't make money. The main thing that is 90% of what we do in the organization gives us monthly bonus. What do I mean by monthly bonus? Monthly bonus has to do with team building, building of the team, which is 90%. That's capacity building. That's leverage. It means even if you have 100 people in your team and all of them are females, my dear, when they sleep with all of them at the same time, can they get pregnant the same day? No. Even if they get pregnant the same day, can they give birth the same day? No. So it means monthly bonus is a result of you building a team. And building of a team, it means you train them through trainings and development. My mentor said it earlier, that majorly what we go through is trainings and development, which our trainings are divided into three aspects. The first aspect of training is leadership. The second aspect of training is business. While the last aspect of training is entrepreneurship training. And monthly bonus is so interesting. Why? Because you build a team. There was a system where you're being invited into the organization. It means we already have our, ident our existing system. It means the moment you're being able to fix, to join the team, they teach you, you work with a team of people, you work with leaders that are ready to support you. They train you on how you can build your team and you get yourself started. That is 90% effort. While the last stream of income is incentive. Incentive comes in two ways. We have our cash incentive and we have travels. When it comes to you coming into the organization, there are different levels at which you make money into this organization. You know, one thing I tell people is that even at your place of work, there is hierarchy. Because anywhere there is no hierarchy, there is actually going to be anarchy. So it means coming down into the organization, you're coming in to work with people. You're coming in to build so much for yourself. So the first level I'm going to be talking about this morning are local team members. As a local team member coming into the organization, these people are people that their trainings are done within their locality. Local team member, this is where all new partners start from. Irrespective of your age, irrespective of your race, irrespective of where you're actually staying, you need to understand that if you're not trained, you can never reign. And that's why as you're coming into the organization, the first category of people as a new partner, you form the local team member. As a local team member, the first level is when you become a new partner. A new partner is somebody who has a franchise, somebody who has a right, somebody who has the license. If I don't have a license to operate as a partner, I can be a partner. And that's why your franchise gives you your rights, it gives you your license, it gives you your legal backing, where you can operate as a new partner. The second category is when you become an asset. Yeah, I'm gonna be using to talk about high incentive, and I'm using it to also talk about the monthly bonus, which is the leadership development bonus. It means people that we are looking out for are leaders. People that we're actually looking out for are people who understand that this is what I really want. As a leader, we are not looking out for followers. You're looking out for leaders. Who is a leader? A leader is somebody who has the heart of a lion. A leader is somebody who understands what he wants and is ready to go for it, irrespective of what it's going to cost our cost. And that's why for a local team member, your bonus is between 40,000 to 70,000. Why your incentive is three in 30, for QSM and SMs, three in 30 means building a team of three people in 30 days, while your performance value is between 500 to 4,000. The next category of people are international team members. They say start building life when you have the strength. Even God said in the Bible that the glory and the color of every youth is on their strength. The question now is what are you using your strength to do? Are you using your strength to work for somebody or you're using your strength to work for another person? I tell people that why don't you build your life when you have black air than for you to do it when you have gray air. As an international team member in the organization, these are people that travel minimum of once every year. 
I mean travels. I'm not saying they're, go they're going to South Africa and live there and die. No. It means they are traveling from one country to another country and they keep touring around the world. I am an international team member in the organization in space of over one year now. So it means it is so interesting for, for us in the organization. What do I mean? As an international team member, you fall in the category, your incentive is not Naira at this point. It's actually changed from Naira to dollars. For like some of us that we work, you know, our incentive in our organization, they give us rice, Ororo at the end of December. But incentive in this organization is not rice, Ororo, it's not Maggi. But our incentive in the organization today is in US dollars. It means imagine one dollar to Naira in, in, a, in a country is over 500. It means it's my joy. Why? Because we keep praying for dollars to increase. Why? Because I'm a business system owner. And that's why incentive in the organization is between 500 US dollars to 3,000 US dollars as an international team member. As of December last year, I got my 500 US dollars and I looked at it. Wow. This is so interesting. And today I'm looking forward to collecting my 1,000 incentive US, incentive US dollars incentive and so much more. Leadership development bonus is between 133,000 Naira to 333,000 Naira. I can tell you this is minimum. Today in the organization today, I don't earn 200. I don't earn 300. You can see the screen. You can see there is a name there. The name there is Idayat and Dawood Omafoyewa. It means my Muslim name is Idayat, but my other name is Olamide. Idayat Omafoyewa, it means I am the passive partner. Why my father is the act, I'm the active partner. Why my father is the passive partner? It means the organization makes somebody in your family to be your next of kin. Somebody you intend to enjoy your incentive with, somebody you intend to travel the world with. And that's why in the organization today, I can tell you that when I got myself started, the same man was the person that discouraged me, but today he's my greatest supporter. Why? Because I've been able to show him more about the organization. And that's why you could see where the arrow is pointed to. This bonus is for December 2019. It's this month of December 2019, my bonus, which started from 28,000 Naira, has been increasing bit by bit, from 28,000 to 52,000, bit by bit, and it has gotten to 342,000, 270 Naira, 27 Kobo, after tax. It means before tax, it was over 360,000. So what I'm talking about is after tax, please tell me, how many of my mates can tell me in less than two years, more than a year in an organization, and that they, they can boldly tell me that with two years experience, they have been able to earn much more than 300,000 where they are working. I've not seen them. And today I miss my peers, I stand out. I miss my peers today, I am outstanding. And that's why for you to understand that in the organization today, there is so much for you to achieve. But one thing I tell people is the fact that what I know in two years, I can't teach it in a day. It means there is an instruction you need to follow. Bishop Oyedepo says something. He said, we work with common sense, we drive by principle, but we always fly by following instructions. And that is one thing that, People, in job, people out there don't really want to do, especially young individuals, because they have somebody that is giving them money. They don't tend to follow instructions. But you need to understand that success today is governed by instructions. If you can't follow the instructions, you can't succeed. I stand here to talk to you why, because I've been able to follow the instructions of the, people, of the person that trained me. And that's why coming down into the organization, we have our travel incentive, which we have the prominent leaders in the organization. I'm still going to be talking about it. But the next step is when you become a president team member. As a president team member in the organization today, these people live a life because they have been able to touch so many people's lives. Remember, a man is not a man, except you are able to touch as many lives as possible. I can tell you today that how many employees can tell me that in space of 35 years, they have been able to touch lives. Nobody. My father today retired from Waik, Nigeria, as a director of purchasing and supply. His gratuity was 22 million. But I can tell you today that nobody can tell him that, sir, even not because of you, I'm successful. 
But my greatest joy in the organization today is because I've been able to touch millions of lives. The moment you become a presidency member, these are people that have been able to touch millions of lives. And that's the joy. Because people will look at them today and tell you, God bless you for what you have done for me. And as far as a presidency member today, your bonus is a million. In few years in the organization, but the last categories of people are shareholders. Imagine you building a business and the business that you did not know when it started and you build it and you become a shareholder. Shareholders are people that earn between the category of 2.8 million to 4 million naira on a monthly basis. That is minimum. Why incentive is what? Incentive comes when you merit it. But your leadership development bonus is what you get at the end of each month. CFE today, which has other training centers, our major partnering company is the New Life. New Life has been in existence since 1958. So it means this organization has been in existence for over 60 years. New Life today is founded by a wonderful man called Jerry Brasfield. Jerry Brasfield is the founder of New Life, which eventually has handed over to the, biz the business to his only daughter, that's the lady standing. The lady in the picture, who is Kendra Brasfield. Kendra Brasfield today is 30 year old and she's in charge of New Life business, which is across over 50 countries around the world. One thing is people that I'm talking to this morning, you might have heard about New Life before and you might have not heard about New Life before. But one thing I keep telling people is the fact that it's not about the business, it's the system that goes around our business. The system is very, very important. And that's why it's a system that helps to drive each business. You can see on the screen is the bonus certificate of our mentor, Mr. Oladele Akinsunlola. You can see his name there, Oladele and Abimbola Akinsunlola. It means his wife is his passive partner, that's the Abimbola then. But you can see his bonus. He joined the organization, like he said earlier, as of 2011, but he started his business fully as of January 2012. It means a bonus of 52,000 as of January 2012 has been increasing bit by bit. You can see the month here, the first month is June 2014. His bonus has increased to 551,000. The next month it's increased to 570, 555, 570, 520,000, 700,000. You can see his targets. That's for you to know that the income of a business owner can shake, but no matter how it shakes, it keeps going up like that. But a bonus of an employee is fixed. A bonus of a self-employed is fixed. These are people that go around. They start from square zero on a daily basis. You can see the bonus later on increase to 626,000. From 626,000 to 618,000. 754,000. 898,000. 893,000. 890,000. 1 million 90,000. This is where I'm going to. As of June 2015. It means his bonus, this man has been earning well over one million naira in the organization since June 2015. So you can see that it is a privilege why he's actually talking to you this morning. It means, your wife used to say, it's making kinikoto omisi omisi kuninuamu kikinikoto de. So it means this man has been earning well over one million in the organization. You can see the bonus increase to 1.1, 1.5, 1 1.7, and 1.9 million. But the truth of the matter is this man today has been able to train well more people that are even earning much more than one million on a monthly basis, which is the most interesting thing. So it means it's a success that has a successor. And that is how the bonus goes, bit by bit, and it keeps increasing. That's for you to know, that if you're ready to change your life, you know I said it earlier, that this workshop is not for everybody. This workshop is for people who are ready, who are tired about where they are coming from. This workshop is for people who are angry. They say the lion is not the big, is not the tallest, is not the smartest, is not the, is not the biggest, is not the sharpest in the jungle, but the lion is the king of the jungle because the lion has a winning attitude. A lion is somebody, a lion is an animal that is hungry and angry for something. And that's why you see when a lion sees an elephant, what do you think happens? The elephant will run. The only thing the elephant is seeing is food. But a lion is seeing what? The only thing the elephant is seeing is an eater, but the lion is seeing food. It means people that, we are, ready to, that are ready to join the organization are people who are angry and hungry for success. If you are not a kind of person that is angry and 
hungry for success. This place is not for you. And that's why coming down into our organization this morning, coming down into our organization, building business with this organization has taught me so many things. Today I stand to talk and I talk and I make a difference. You can see this is the, my mentor's traveling passport. You can see it. Check the screen. And this is a passport photo group. It's past international passport. Whereby you could see the picture that was when you joined the organization. You can see the French stamps. South Africa, you know, this man has traveled to well over 20 countries around the world. You can see South Africa. And this man, you can see his immigrant visa. This man today is a resident of US. But today he chose to be in Nigeria and go to US once every year. Why? Because he has been able to build a system. He has been able to train people. This man is not traveling outside Nigeria to go and be washing dead body or go and be doing millions of jobs. You don't understand. This man has chosen to be in Nigeria and make stupid money. You can see his visa to South Africa. This man has traveled to Mexico. He has traveled to Dubai. He has traveled to Abu Dhabi. He has traveled to so many countries around the world. Please tell me, what is he doing that you cannot do? Is a, is a man like you, he's not old, he's a young man and he's making stupid money for himself. This is his Mexico visa. That's for you to know that there's so much you can achieve in the organization. But please understand that I'm not saying that all those things, you achieve it in a day or you achieve it in a month. You can see his visa, his Schengen visa. You don't understand. It means there are so much you can achieve in the organization, but it is something that you need to build. It's not something you achieve in a day. And that's why for you to understand that for you to achieve so much, you must be ready to pay the price. This organization is for people that have a dream. It's not for mediocre. It's not for people that don't know what they want. And that's why you need to think of your income as a table. Imagine only one leg to support the first table. If one leg breaks, what do you think will happen to the table? The table will collapse. But imagine multiple legs to support the table. If one leg breaks, the table will wobble, but it will remain standing. Think of, your, think of the table as your life and the leg as your income street. So it means even if you're standing on one leg, it means the day that leg, something happens to it, it means you will go down. And that's why success will demand five things from you. The first thing success will demand from you is hard work. The second thing success will demand from you is sacrifice. You must be ready to sacrifice for it. The third thing success will demand from you is struggle. You must be ready to pay the price. You must be ready to put in work. You must be ready to put in so much. Faith, they say faith without work is dead. Faith is just like risk. Imagine faith means you climb the old staircase even when you're not seeing the end of the staircase. The next thing is patience. It's gonna require time. It's going to require patience. Instant gratification will never get anything as they ought now. No, 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 no. That's not what you really want. It means it will require patience. Anything that is going to stand the test of time will take time. There are two categories of people I'm selecting this morning. The first categories of people are unit leaders. Who is a leader? A leader is somebody who is not selfish. A leader is somebody who has integrity. A leader is somebody who knows what he wants and is definitely going for it. You can see the picture. The person in red says, let's go. That is a leader. And that's why unique leaders are people that are going to be trained by, the, by the, our overall team leader himself. That's Mr. Ladele Akinsulola and prominent leaders in the organization. Why unit members are people that are going to be trained by the unit leaders. Unit leaders are people that are going to be getting paid at the end of April. Unit leaders are people that are going to be receiving recommendations towards our next trip. And that's why unit leaders are people that are going to be getting themselves started today. Why unit members are people that are going to be trained by the unit leaders. The truth is, our leaders can't train everybody. We can't train everybody. And that's why there is something called division of labor. But for you to be a partner into our organization, you need your rights. But before I talk about rights, you need to have a dream. Your dream is something that should, should not make you sleep. It's not something that you see when you want to sleep. It means before you can be a partner, you must be somebody who has a dream. Your dream has to be very smart. It has to be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and should have a time bound. You need to be somebody who is determined, who has top on determination. You need to be somebody who has passion, passion for saving people's lives. 
passion for doing so much. You need to be somebody who is courageous. What's the opposite of courage? And that is fear. You know, when I mention right now, there is fear in some people's mind. But some people, that fear means two things. Is that you face everything and rise, or you forget everything and run? The question is, where are you running to? Are you running back to a life that you don't even like the face of your boss? Or you're running back to a life that wherever you keep selling, 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 and you've not achieved so much for the past 10 years of your life. So the question now is, where are you running to? It's better you face these fears so that your generation on bond will continue to pray for you. They say a good man lay inheritance for his children's children. And a man that does otherwise is what? Is worse than an infidel. Your right means what? Right means license. Your right means your legal backing. Your right means you get your franchise. There are three reasons why you need your right. The first reason is because of direct connectivity. It means our partnering company today, they need to know you. I tell people that family is not by birth alone. It means the moment you have a right, it means you're already part of our business family. And that's why direct connectivity means our partnering organization knows you. They know who you are. If I tell you you want to be a partner with your organization, don't have a right. It means you're working for me. It means the moment you have the right, it means you're directly connected to our multinational. That's New Life all the way from California. The second reason why you need your rights is because of difference. The organization can be able to defend you irrespective of where you are. Even if you're not in Ibadan, you're not in Lagos, you're not anywhere you are, the organization will come to defend you. I'm going to talk about my mentor for a while. It means, you know, when, when we were reading his bonus, we saw a, a place as of June 2015 where his bonus was already on 1 million. It means the moment the bonus came into his account, they restricted his account. And he went to First Bank and they told him, what are you doing that, you, that 1 million era entered your account? And you know, he told them, I'm, in partners, I'm, in part, I'm a partner with New Life all the way from California. And the bank had to write New Life. And they told him, the company had to come to defend him. And they told them immediately, I wrote back to them, that this man earns a million and he will continue to earn a million. So you shouldn't put a restriction on his account again. That is a difference. Another reason why you need your rights is because of measure of performance. The reason why somebody earns 500,000, somebody earns a million, somebody earns 40,000 is because of measure of performance. And that's the three reasons why you need your right. But when I talk about rights, everybody listening to me today, we get our rights in various ways. Some people get their right through professional certificates. In fact, one thing that is actually common is when you want to enter university or polytechnic or to any tertiary institution. It means you need to get your right by, by paying your acceptance fee. And that's why our rights in the organization today means you need to register. As a partner, for you to, for you to have rights to, to achieve all this, for you to have rights to, to enjoy all those things I've actually explained, you need to register. Our registration fee is 17500 which out of this registration fee, 14000 of goods are actually going to be, 14000 of materials are actually going to be returned back to you, while the remaining is actually your training materials that you're actually going to read towards the cost of our training. So it means for a reasonable person, you could see that if you remove 14000 error from 17500 it means you're left with 3500 So the question is, it's 3,500 so big for you to achieve so much. It's 17,500 so big for you to pay a price for your generation. And that's one of the points whereby I mentioned right. This is where so many people get broken. But one thing I tell people is that why does it cost money? It costs money because it is a business and it is not a job. And business requires money to start. But one thing I keep telling people is that leverage business is, is the second most paying industry in the world after football. But one thing I know is that me, I can't play football. Everybody can't play football. And that's why leverage business today is the second most paying industry in the world. And that's why never burn your opportunities for a temporary conflict. Don't be like this other man that I'm actually going to be explaining. It means even if you, you really want to succeed, you must understand that there is a price to pay. If you are that kind of person that you're planning your opportunities for a temporary comfort, remember, there is nothing called comfort zone. Comfort zone is a zone that destroys destiny. 
Imagine this man here, yeah, he's feeling cold and there is a ladder. The ladder is he's supposed to use that ladder to jump out of that place. But he decided to cut the legs of the ladder. But do you know that you eventually burn all this ladder? Even this soil, he will burn it. But what do you think will kill him? It's still that cold. It means there is nothing called comfort zone. Comfort zone is only a zone that destroys your destiny. And that's what this temporary comfort is what people get on a job. Because there is AC, there is fan, your tush, you put in high heels. So you think you're living large, my dear. It's not. It means the moment you find your opportunities for a temporary comfort, remember, there is still a time for you. And that time is after your retirement, after 60 years, that you don't have the strength again, that you don't have the energy again. So do you want your children to look at you today and ask you, Daddy, when Daddy's were Daddy, what were you doing? Or you want your children to look at you today and tell you that you're the best man in the world. It's not by the size of your manhood. You should never allow your erection determine your direction in life. It means you must be on point morning, afternoon, and night financially. Even if you're a female, don't be somebody that has beauty and does not have brain. Because they say beauty without brain is a display of cosmetic foolishness. It means the M in a woman means money. Even at a very tender age today, I look at my life today and I ask myself, how many of my age mates today can look at me and tell me the life I'm living today, building my life, they're actually experiencing that kind of life. Today, my peers look at me and tell me, Mama, today my peers look at me, they can't even call me by my name. You don't understand why. Because I'm a person of value. I'm a person of impact. I'm a person today that people look at and tell me, I want to be like you. And that's the joy. The joy is because I'm not even up to 30 years yet. And that's for you to know. That is not by age. Age is just a number. It is by what you have been able to achieve. And that's why don't look at 17,500 and see a problem. Because success in life comes when you simply refuse to give in. Giving up is not an option. In fact, I tell people that giving up is not in my dictionary. Giving up should never be an option. Because if you give up, remember the life that is attached to your love. Remember in the Bible that God said, a good man attached to a man's love, there are a lot of generations. So giving up is never an option because, you're, because refuse to give up with goals so strong that obstacles, failure, and loss only act as motivation. Today, you need to understand that if you're afraid, you afraid of failure, failure is part of success. Tell me a man that is successful. And I will tell you that man has failed so many times. They say when you fail, it means first attempt in learning. It's a learning process. In life generally, is that we win or we learn? And that's why the moment you understand that, you understand that there was so much for you to achieve. Failure is never, you know, so many people today we are still afraid of rejection. Rejection should not be something that draws you because rejection is part of life. And that's why 17,500 should never be a problem because you can leverage. What do I mean by leverage? Pastor Matthew Hashimolo said something. He said, somebody has what you don't have. It means when you want to leverage, it means leverage means other, you can leverage in different ways. One of it is other people's money. Why don't you look at 17,500 and talk to 18 people to give you 11,000 one, 1, each? That's, you'll get 17,500. You can talk to two, 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 you can get to 2,000 error from nine people, but make sure you get yourself started as a unit leader today. Make sure you get yourself started as a unit leader today. I repeat, make sure you get yourself started as a unit leader today. Don't tell me there is no money. There is money in Nigeria. It depends on how you see it. Don't tell me you are afraid. Don't tell me you, you, don't, you don't know what you want to achieve. There are so much you can achieve. Talk to people. They say a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Talk to people. Talk to people around you. The moment you tell people you want to do business, they will never give you. Why don't you tell them, I want to buy a recharge card and get it in, million, in many places. And I tell you, you can achieve so much with that. I tell you that success is something that you should understand that is not your backtrack. Success is like buffet that you go and serve yourself what you want. And that's why put in so much for you to achieve and start building a life that your generation will continue to pray for you. Today, the Awolo family, they continue to pray for their great grandfather. Today, my father didn't pray the price. The only thing he gave me was certificate. But today I can tell you that I'm ready to build a life for my children's children. And that's why don't see problem. 
Because problem, there is nothing even called problem. There is nothing like challenge. I tell people that challenge is just a bus stop. It's in the Babel. It's in the lorry. It's in motion. And that's why there is nothing called challenge. Challenges are part of life. Don't give me excuses. Because excuses can, you can't make money and give excuses at the same time. And that's why put in your best. Go around and look for people. Tell them to help you. Because when you succeed, they will still come back and tell you that they need your help. Thank you very much. It's nice talking to you. Wow. Thank you so much, Ms. Olamide. That was a very powerful presentation. And at this junction, I want to believe that even the deaf can hear. You uh, at this junction, you, it's a time for decision making. What decision are you making now? You know, when it comes to decision making, there are three different kinds of people. There are people who say, ah, when no ever she do, affect ban. You know, a lot of people, when money is involved in anything, the first thing they think about is calm. But guys, oh, low, low, or not fake by jockey, low, fake son. You know, we just have to be logical with ourselves sometimes. And you see a lot of people where you get home now, you are at home, but eventually when you relay the, the, the process to people at home, your parents who knew you were online with a session, and you eventually tell them, they asked me to register, it's 17,005. You see then they begin to put so much fear into you. You see some of them will say, ah, people you don't know, online, they say you need money, you should send money. Offers can, man. Guys, if you don't learn to throw away, you cannot find. I tell you the truth. You know, this lady has said a lot of things today. I don't know what to say again. You know, she said something, she said, familyhood is not by bad rights. She said, familyhood is not by bad rights. So what does it mean? It means you may not know anybody online, but the person that have connected to you, that sent you the link to this workshop, has become part of your family. If you know what I know, you're supposed to go to the person after this workshop and tell the person, thank you very much. Now, how do you now proceed from here? You proceed from here, one, by sending a text message now to the number that invited you to this place. So send a text message now and notify the person that you are done with the workshop and ask the person what next. Now, in case you have some questions on your mind, the person will also be there to take all your questions. The next thing they're going to do is they're going to call you on phone. They will call you on phone, they will take all your questions, and please be logical when you're asking questions. Don't ask questions that will be confusing you yourself, because a lot of things you want to ask, you will be learning it in the course of your training. So take it one step at a time, and don't confuse yourself. Another category of people you see, in the organization are people that will say, I want to think about it. Guys, I think it will, it will, it will be anti-commonsensical. If at this age and time, you are still thinking so long in your life. An average person here will be 20 years and above. It means for 20 years of your life, you have been thinking. What have you brought out of the thinking? See, this is not a time to think. This is a time to act. This is not a time to think. This is the time to act. There is difference between action and thinking. In fact, when you think too much, you think. Pastor somebody I said too much analysis always leads to paralysis. What does it mean? It means when you analyze a situation too much, you get paralytic on that situation. Paralysis means you can't move. You don't move. So the first thing you need to do before analyzing is to take a step, make a move, and get going. And the third category of people are people who will say, I'm ready. I want to get going. Now, if you are ready and you're able to proceed to your registration today, tell the number that is connected to you to send you the information needed for your documentation. Probably they're going to send you an e-form of your registration form where you fill the details. But in case you are not able to edit PDF file, you can just send the details manually. They will tell you the details you need to send, your name, the name of your next of kin, your address, your date of birth, your email address, your residential address, you know, all these informations will be collated together and will be inputted as your documentation on new life portal. What does it mean? It can be done online immediately. And the moment it is done, you pay your registration to back it up. Ms. Olamide has said it all. Your registration comes with your registration kits. Your registration kit will be delivered to your house address. If you live in Lagos, it will be delivered by FedEx to your, to your doorstep. And if you live outside Lagos, it will be delivered to your state capital the FedEx office in your state capital, and from there, they're going to channel it to your address. So that's not a problem. Now, you get a money back through the nutritional brand that comes with it, and the remaining three five goes to your literature materials, which is going to be used to fix for your trainings. 
Now, another thing is the moment you're able to get your documentation done today, your training starts tomorrow. The team you're working with is going to fix you to a series of trainings. Some of these trainings include your induction training, your SACU 1 training, your SACU 2 training, your SACU 3 training, and your SACU 4 training. By the time you are done with this series of training, you will have been able to get in-depth information on how to proceed. There is a way Ms. Olamide was paid 342000 in the month of December. That's about two, three months ago. Are you getting it now? How much did you earn in December? There's a way my bonus was shown to you, and there's a way I got to that level. And those are all the things they will be explaining to you in the course of your training. That's the career path, which you're going to take step by step by step by step. Remember when you were in school those days, after you register as a student and they gave you matric number, that's what they call matric orientation. And what did they use matric orientation to do? They used it to explain to you how you can calculate your effort, how you can calculate your GP, your CGPA, and eventually, you can be able to pursue first class, you can pursue two one, you can pursue two two, you know what you are running for. And that's exactly the way the world of business is. So once you're able to get your registration done today, then it means you have perfected all angle of your documentation and your business starts. So it means you can begin to build on your land. Your registration is like you are buying a land for yourself and you can begin to build on it. Another concern is some people will say, I don't have the money. Ah, what do I do now? No problem. Just talk to the number that will call you, explain all your situations to that person. In case you don't have all your registration complete, maybe what you have with you is not complete and you need to rally around to get the rest. Ms. Olamide has done so well today. She has even taught you how to even search, search for money. You see that method she taught you in the world of business is called OPM, other people's money. If you don't learn to leverage on what other people have, you cannot have. Even bank, I got a text message from my bank yesterday and they said they removed 400 and something era from my account. Money for what? They said account maintenance charge. What are they maintaining? Please, over 1 million bank customers for 400 naira. How much is that? That is over 400 million naira. And that is what they call other people's money. You can never run enough where you don't learn to leverage on what other people have. So try to make use of this opportunity and get yourself going. Don't magnify your problem. Don't magnify your challenge. She has told you, challenge is in Ibadan. It's in Ilori. It's in motion. Everybody in life has challenge. But don't think that your liberty, your challenge will just solve itself easily. You are the one that will solve your challenge by yourself. And you solve your challenge by making a move to solve it. Now, another thing is, connect with the number that invited you so that they can connect you to more trainings. Opportunity meetings like this, continues, it will still be ongoing. Whenever there's an opportunity meeting like this on Sunday or Monday, they can connect it to you with it and you can also learn more and keep learning and keep learning. Remember, the more you learn, the more you're connected, the more you understand the system better. And again, you also have the liberty to watch this um, session again. The session is recorded already and will be uploaded on YouTube. Now, what you need to do is to connect, to connect to the number that sent you the link and tell the person to send you the link to this workshop. I think this workshop is very powerful. Ms. Olamide has done great. Even myself, I give her a round of applause. I'm really proud of what you have become, Olamide. This is really, 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 really great. Within a pace of one year, you have become this. I'm really proud of you. The delivery Thank is you very powerful much, sir. and it's crazy. And no wonder the result is so, 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 so crazy. I look forward to people that will come and challenge you. I look forward to guys here that will come and challenge you. I look forward to ladies here that will come and challenge you. And she said something that struck me. She said, beauty without brain is just a display of cosmetic stupidity. You know, don't be a man and be proud in the direction of your manhood. Be a man and be proud in the direction of your achievement. What do you achieve? And do you know one thing about life? Nobody will give you anything on a platter of gold. You must be ready to fight for it. It's been a wonderful session, everybody. Please send a message to the number that sent you the link now. Send a message now uh, so that they can carry you on on what next and so that you can perfect your documentation. My joy is to see you in the course of your training and get to hear, train you more, get to hear more from you. One day, one day, you'll be sharing your story like Ms. Olami did, and it's going to be a sweet story to tell. Thank you very much, guys. Stay safe wherever you are and stay prosperous. Stay safe and stay prosperous. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day.